This week, I'm turning cassettes into something else. Welcome back to the CD Aperture channel. My name is Jose, and I go by CD Aperture. And this week, is I went out and bought a bunch of these guys. These are cassette tapes. Some of you may not know what these are for, but this is how you used to listen to music. Actually, you even used to use them to store data for computers on this at one point. Um, so I want to make some stuff with these guys I have. Quite a few of them. I actually even got me one of these guys as well. This, of course, is a VHS tape. That'll be for another day, but we'll make something out of that as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to start trying to make something out of these guys. And uh, I have an idea already, but let's see what we come up with. And let's see how well we can do it. Alright, the first trick to this is that I got cassettes that have screws. Because if you have one with no screws, it's really hard to open this and take it apart. I'm going to try it with this one in a bit, but you know, with this one it's very easily. Just got to get yourself some little screwdrivers, and you know, I have this set of them. And then you can just turn and get them out of there. Put it on top of this magnetic. So, pretty much everything that's in here we can throw out. Alright, just turn it over. No use for any of this anymore. And all of that can get tossed out. Here we are. We can even get rid of this little wheel. There's, there's no need for them anymore. And what we're going to have to do now is cut out a bunch of this stuff in here. And that's all so that we can put business cards in them. You can see a lot of that stuff's in the way. So, next we're going to cut some of that out. Alright, so now that it's open, there's a lot of things we've got to cut out of here, including this little post. You can see them there. A lot of this stuff up here. I think this one will be fine for that center post, but in a lot of them you have to get rid of the center post. I think here we should be... Uh, we may have to get rid of part of that, like half of that, in order to be able to fit business cards in there. Um, and then on the opposite end, similarly up here, we don't have to worry about the center post, but we may have to cut some of that out. So to do that, I'm going to use several things. Some flush cutters, some pliers, I've got my X-Acto knives over here and a Dremel with a bunch of different tips. So let's get to doing that. Okay, so this is the second project we're going to do. This is a power pack, or some people call it a battery, or... Basically, it's what you use to recharge your phone when it dies, right? You plug it into the wall, take it with you, your phone dies, you plug your phone into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it inside the tape. You can see it fits width-wise and depth-wise and thickness, I think think it'll fit. It was the thinnest one I could find, so I'm going to take it apart, see what's inside, and figure out how to make it fit inside the tape. And there's that little glue seam here, so we're just going to get a knife. Okay, now that this is open, you can see the battery part is the silver thing. And then the chip and the controls, they're all secured to this bow, to this plastic, but I think it'll fit. It's going to be tight. Um, and take it apart, there's just a couple of screws holding the board in. And we'll do our best and see what happens. I 
Okay, so you can see here the tapes have this little lip on where the reels go. So that's what will hold the reels in place. We're going to have to sand them flush. Because that gains us about a sixteenth of an inch. Here I'm just sanding them flush. Well, sand that. Let's uh, go back to the business card holder. But you see it's working. I have been cutting the bottom off of this screw. So if it don't focus, it's having a hard time focusing. But these are the screws that were in the holes here. That I've been cutting the bottoms off so that I can glue them in place and then they won't poke out the bottom of it. Right. So I've been using a cutoff wheel and just a Dremel. I'm going to go ahead and glue them in place. This here's gaffer's tape, or gaff tape you might call it. It's a tape that's used a lot in the movie industry and in cameras and photography and whatnot. This is what we're going to use as the hinge between the two. Uh, it's great because it doesn't leave residue behind. Um, yet it's very sticky, so I'm going to put some down, we're going to cut it to length and width, and we're going to keep going from there. Alright, but this is essentially done hinges, right, business cards go in there, like so, and then you close it, and there you have it, a business card holder made out of a cassette tape, open it up, take a business card out, there we go, Let's go to the next one, project. So unfortunately, even after I ground down the interior to it's completely flush, the battery that I got still doesn't fit, it's just, just a bit too thick. Um, and this is the thinnest one I could find, uh, but that's okay, I have another idea for this, we'll, hope, we'll maybe make this part of this video if it doesn't get too long, if not, that'll come back. Um, but I have another plan for this, guys, aside from what we've already done, which is the business card holder. Uh, so let's start with that, and here I'll show you. This is th a thumb drive. This is a 32 gigabyte thumb drive. Right, I've opened this guy's up in such a way to, to make it thin enough to fit inside here. And now I will be putting thumb drive inside of the cassette tapes um, which is you know a little bit of uh, you know <laughs> essentially this was a storage media and now you will have the ability to have s another storage media inside of here um, I gotta grind down some more areas in order for this to close although I mean I could force it closed but you can see there's just a little bit of space there um, I just gotta grind down this area and open this up some more so that I can then be able to plug in the female cable that will go to the other side. So let's get to doing that and put this memory card inside here. Alright, so now I've cut the space 
between them all. If you look, you can see they've taken out enough material for the thumb drive to sit in. So now the thumb, thumb drive can sit in there. Right, and done that for both. Here's the other one. What I'm going to do next is glue around this thumb drive with some um, styrene plastic. I made a little encasement just so it sits in there better. And then I also put a screw through the hole into the plastic so that it can't go anywhere. It's also glued to the plastic itself. Now I'm going to glue this to this side and we can start closing it up. And then the same thing here, but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to black out the window so that you don't see the thumb drive in there. So the thumb drive sits here, like so. But you see, you can see that there, so I'm going to paint that black on both sides. And then we're ready to glue that one in. Okay, well this dries. I've taped this out so I can paint the little glass. Just a little bit of black paint. Let's go spray. Okay, back. Okay, so this is painted black now, right? You can see there, you won't be able to look through it. This guy is glued to this one case and it's on there good. Uh, I just think that's gonna hold real well. So now what I'm gonna do is, this is one of the ones that didn't have any screws. I had to pry it open. So I'm gonna glue this together, but first I'm gonna put this guy's back because they'll be able to sit there and it gives it that little bit of, it's still a tape, you know? I'm going to glue this guy shut, I'm going to glue this guy to this, and then this one, oops, wrong side, this one does screw together, so we'll screw that back together, and then I have its uh, reels for the tape itself that will go on there. So let's do that and then we'll be done with this project. There you guys have it. That is how I turned a cassette into a thumb drive, right? And also a business card holder. So, here we go. I made multiples of each. I've made two of the thumb drives. One for myself, one for my wife. And then I have three of these business card holders. Uh, there it is right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is make some labels to put on here. I've drawn up the templates and whatnot, but we'll make that a future project. And I haven't forgotten, I still have this battery here. Um, it didn't work out, it didn't fit in with, within the tape, it's just too, th too, too thick. Um, if you know of a thinner battery, I guess I'll put a link to this one in the description, but you know, if you guys know of a much thinner battery, because we, we've got to lose, gosh, probably an eighth of an inch off of it. Uh, let me know let me know in the comments or whatnot uh, but don't despair I have a plan for this this will probably be maybe the next project but I do have an idea what I'm gonna do with this so it's not gonna go to waste but if you have an idea for a thinner battery let me know otherwise that's it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next project